Welcome to the Living in Portland channel. I am your man, Addy Net, the money guy, and we got... Listy, what up, guys? Mama Bear Listy, and we are out here in Oregon City. So if this is your first time to the channel, make sure that you hit like and subscribe so that every time we post a new video, you get notified. notified. I think we almost did that right. We almost Hit did that, that right. little bell. Hit the bell. Just hit it. It's not that hard. If you guys are thinking about moving to the Portland metropolitan area, you gotta make sure that you give us a call, send us a text, or send us an email. However you wanna do it, get in touch with us. Let's have a conversation. Talk about Portland before you arrive so we can have your back when moving to the area. Boom. That was well said. And guys, we do this. This is all we focus on is relocating people from all across the country to our beloved Portland area. So. This Make sure you hit us up. Hey guys, look at this. We buy records. We have vinyl records. More happening here in the Portland area. Love it. Very random. We just, you'll see later in the video if you haven't already seen it, those records. We are in the charming downtown Oregon City. You know, it's it's Christmas time. Christmas so, time. you know, the normal, actually, it still is like, what are those? It's small. Oh, but the records. The record collection. The re Random. Some vinyls, man. How do we got? There's a first. This is an area of which has gotten tons of traction lately, right, Westy? Tons. It is growing. We are just uh, what, south of Portland, north of Westland. So you're about, um, yeah, 20 to 35 minutes from downtown Portland, 35 minutes from the airport. Oregon City also serves to be a nice alternative to Westland because literally that is the bridge right there. City. Right there. So you're gonna get larger homes, you're gonna get a little more for your dollar. The schools are really good here. Yep. The high school is almost brand new. It's very, very new. But this is also what people fall in love with is this kind of downtown strip where you've got a tons of different super quaint restaurants. This is like kind of historic history to it. Yeah. You've got some really fun top houses, wine houses, you've got the food carts, you have the axe throwing. Axe throwing. You have a it's super fun. This is a happen in a little spot. Um, you know, Friday nights, Saturday nights, for sure, a good place to come and hang out. Very walkable, you know, down obviously in this area, but it does get very, very hilly. But the nice part about it is, is the further you go up these hills in Oregon City, you mm -hmm. have beautiful views looking over the Willamette River and great city views. Yeah, so pretty much, we showed you the bridge right there, and that's where the Willamette River is, and it goes all the way from like Wilsonville to Oregon City, and then up north to the main part of Portland. But downtown Oregon City is on the baseline here, right? And then the actual main part of the suburb is up the scale. So it's not like inner city Portland where you live blocks from the entertainment and the nightlife. You would drive down You here. would drive. Yeah, yeah there's no way. You, because it is pretty hilly, yeah. really narrow streets, not a lot of sidewalks. So you're not really walking and biking down here. You would drive, park, take an Uber. Did we forget to hit the cross button? Because yeah, we've been it. waiting yeah, for a I long time on that. Yeah, for sure. The, yeah. Um, um, also down here is the courthouse. Um, so you get a lot of city workers, municipal workers. And you that, have the verdict that bar. Here. Verdict bar, that's where all the lawyers go. If you didn't pick up on the name verdict, uh -huh. lawyers go there. That's yes. that's what that's all about. But all these little spots right here, you know, this is what people call them. It, it's kind of the restored downtown-y feel. Uh, that's it what I'm trying to describe has, it. No, it has like a Portlandia vibe where it's a little quirky, a little fun, right. but it's in the suburbs. But so it's, it's a little bit more quiet, but there's all, it's really starting to grow and bring more people from the inner city into this area. It's um, also got kind of like the intro to a Hallmark Christmas movie oh, vibe. Yeah. Like, can't you guys see that? Like, like a romantic okay. holiday comedy. Yeah. But you got all these little spots, right. little bars right. and restaurants, a wine tasting area. That's the part of your talking about. A hardware barber shop. I mean, really good. See that anymore. That's really cute. So yeah, this is the downtown strip of There's Oregon City. I mean, fun fact: Oregon City also used to be. That's a cool. Yeah, nice little waterfall. Also used to be the state capital. Just a, a random fact, but. Let's get into the Oregon different. City used to be the state capital. Yeah, and then it moved to Salem. Why did I not know this? 
you gotta know this yeah. stuff. You gotta know this stuff. So me, the money guy, I grew up in Westland and Oregon City was a rival high school. Rival. That's a local thing to know. Yep. So yeah, mostly families live here. So if you have no kids, you're really probably not gonna have this top on your list unless you want to live way out away well, from everything, Well, it does right? get a really rural in Oregon City. The rural. further up the hills you go and out and you get big property and you have horse properties and you have land. Uh -huh. So you have that as well out there. So you do get, there are a lot of people here that are not families that do live, especially with this downtown area really growing. You know, it's become kind of a hot spot with the tap houses, the wine bars and things like that, you know, coming here. Yep. Um, but yeah, a lot of families in this area because you get more for your money. The schools are doing really well. Listy's favorite coffee spot everywhere in the Portland area, Coffee Rush. Coffee Rush, they know Listy really well. So one thing that you really will love about Oregon City is it's very local. You're going to find a lot of your yep. mom and pop shops here. They're quirky, they're fun, but it's all about supporting local. Absolutely. and I mean, I think that's one commonly commonly commented thing is the lack of like franchi yes. franchisee places which i think is great i mean we don't yes you still I mean, are gonna have like your k there's a freaking kfc there down is. there you're from gonna 10. have some of your franchise but not here in the inner downtown they keep a very local wish something yeah. to know about Oregon, especially the portland metropolitan area it's all about being local we support local that is a very big thing here so you got to make sure that you know like that. the hardware barbershop I love the hardware barbershop. Gotta support Orco. I could go and I could get my side for sure. It's uh, legal. Yeah, that's one thing you gotta get super used, get to. used to. It. They're as common as mini marts here or the weed shops. Weed everywhere. shops everywhere. Doesn't you won't even bat an eye. Won't even this little bistro cabano. I've actually never been in there. No. I have been it in the Mi Familia pizza place. I know I'm getting hungry walking past all this delicious food. We won't show our competing, no. competing real estate. We used to be with. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Like look at this little Sonic cute Temple. spot. It's like, I mean, that's as local as it gets, right there. Yeah, that's right. Don Pepe's. Pepe, Pepe. Okay, so you want to head down toward the water. Yeah, I that's think there's like a park down Listy there. Listy wants to show the water. Um, I do not think that there's actually a park down there. It's not. How do you get to the like? How do you get to the boating thing? That's. Oh, I'm thinking Milwaukee. Yes. Oh, which is about Milwaukee. That's a connecting. That because that's becoming a pretty so big spot. Talk about that's that. not far from here either. We're gonna hop in the car and do a little out the window. Hopefully, we can give the vibe of the downtown yeah. Oregon City. Okay. So I have to tell you, Addy. I sold my most favorite home in Oregon City. I absolutely love it. It is your old charming, you know. Portland historic craftsman. It was actually built in the late 1800s. It's on the historic registry. It's been completely redone and it sits up on the hill overlooking the river. It's my favorite house ever. I love it. It is so damn cute. So why did why did those clients of ours decide this was the spot for them? Because they were looking at a lot of different areas, right? Yeah, they were looking at a ton of different areas. Um, so they really wanted to be in Portland, like in the inner city. They wanted that Portlandia vibe. They wanted the old home. They wanted to have a house that had a front porch on it because they have this amazing porch swing. Um, and you know, it was during the time of the pandemic. Interest rates were crazy low. People were crazy with their offers and what was happening. And we just had a really difficult time getting into a home. And they had never been to Oregon City. I was like, you guys, let's go look. Because it does have right. the historic charm. This town kind of has that Portlandia vibe. And it, you know, you have these craftsman homes. You have yeah. the big porches. But you get more for your money. So like they don't that. cost as much in See Oregon those? City. See. Not everybody is looking mm -hmm. to move here because it isn't in the inner city. So once they saw it, they're like, I can get exactly what I'm looking for for less money that actually has a big yard, everything that they wanted, and it's got the cute, you know, charming town going on. So that's why we ended up buying here in Oregon City. 
The mm. other thing to know about Oregon City, another hot spot that's really growing is Milwaukee. We get a lot of people talking about Milwaukee True. and Oregon City is neighbors to Milwaukee. So we're very, very close to that area. Super close to Milwaukee. So that would be another alternative. I would say Milwaukee's, Milwaukee is slightly more affordable than Oregon City. It is. Right? Would you yep. agree? Yeah. Yep. Maybe 5%. Very, also, both of these towns are kind of more blue collar got a very blue collar vibe. A blue collar vibe. Um, especially in Milwaukee, you have, you know, a really big industrial area, a lot of big manufacturing and warehousing, you know, companies. So you get that. Um, the one thing I love about Milwaukee is that's where everybody's putting their boats in. That's where we're going fishing. Boat dropping. Boat but, you drop. Know, there's great spots For to put sure. in your kayaks, your paddle boards. You know, there's some great little swimming pools. So that's super nice being here in Oregon City, being so close to Milwaukee to, you know, be able to jump in the river river and cool off on those hot summer days or mm -hmm. you know go salmon fishing steelhead fishing all that good stuff yep. float get your you know coolers and float in the summertime in the hot there's that franchise kfc yeah we're that kfc about. we were talking about see they are there are some franchises they're just not as much but speaking of boat water activity is big down here you got a near boat drop river access even right there that's active water sports it ironically doesn't look very active right now because it's December. Um, they're probably doing a lot of weatherizing and storing. Yes. But in the summer, this is like popping down here, repairs, pickups, all that good stuff. So if you're looking to maybe have a lifestyle of like, hey, I need a larger home, I want to have a boat, and you're trying to save a little money coming out to Oregon City and Milwaukee might be, you know, a way to fit all those into a monthly budget. Absolutely. Got some food cart action over there. Lots of fun little food carts. I wish We've I could get over live there. music down here on the weekends. This got your brewery right there. Look at that. See all the little fire pits I and food carts. I love carts. the fire pits. Keeping you warm. I'll food carts. More food carts. Coney Island cocktails. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of becoming par for the course in all these communities are these little food cart pods, right? I think the pandemic has definitely... Well, backing up, Portland is always known for kind of the food cart mm -hmm. scene. And then I think with the pandemic and less going to restaurants, it was harder for restaurants to even stay open. They've gone the food pod route. So that's really popular. I mean, it's almost hard to find a community that doesn't have a pod. Oh, um, yeah. But that's kind of the thing. That is the thing. So my son for homecoming, actually, in the fall for the homecoming dance, you know, where do you guys want to go to dinner? You know. You want to make reservations, go somewhere. They all wanted to go to the food carts. Like, that was the thing. Food carts. Like, you know, they're all dressed up in their formal wear, and they ended up at the food carts, which is kind of fun. Uh, Oregon City, this is also the end of the Oregon Trail. So Oregon, that's a really fun big fact. thing. Do you guys play the Oregon fun. Trail game? The Oregon Trail that video game. That should be a closing gift for us, you guys. We should give everybody the Oregon Trail game. On floppy disk? <laughs> yeah, it's like a, it's a board game. Oh, I thought you were talking about, like, the original floppy disk, like, computer Oregon Trail game. Well, I mean, yeah, but I don't think anyone could play that <laughs> game. <laughs> I'm going to point out Home Depot's right here. I mean, that sounds like a really random thing to say, but hey, you need things on the weekend. You're buying a house, DIY projects, proximity to Home Depot and Lowe's makes a big deal. You got one right here, super fast. Go, you also have buyers. a recycling center and a dump. Um, that's kind of nice <laughs> to be close to. Dump. A dump is very important to have. I mean, it's not cheap to dump things anymore, no. by the way. I had a friend who actually moved out and needed to get rid of the couch. It was like $35 to recycle slash dump a couch. Yes. Isn't that crazy? It's well, nobody will take couches. Like, unless it's in perfect condition. Is that like a The other thing that's thing? hard to get rid of is mattresses. Like, bed mattresses. Who you wants can't. a used mattress, though? Well, I mean, you... It's gross. Yeah. When was the last time you dropped something off at Goodwill Donations? Because I've found this out weekend. they're extremely picky now. Yeah, this weekend. They, like, go through your stuff like it's TSA or something. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Yeah. They they're, do. like, unless it's, like, top-notch, they don't want it. No. Uh-oh, they're very picky. Like, I had a bring, I had a extra hose, believe it or not, like a Wait. garden hose. <laughs> and they Why didn't did want it. Why did you have an extra hose? <laughs> <laughs> it was... <laughs> We like bought it for our old place and then brought it over and it was, we upgraded our hose. So we had this. <laughs> what do you mean you upgraded your hose? What's an upgraded hose? <laughs> we and need you to, get it at Home Depot, ladies. We, we need to get back on track here. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. One of those houses. I love Oregon City. That is where 
where we're at. We're we're down in Oregon City, so let's get. You did a super charming, nice craftsman, younger couple. They didn't even have any kids, right? Oh, yeah, they're so they're living cute. their best life. Yeah. But talked about as a mom, what are the positives? Like you could get a family home, good schools, newer high school, probably more square footage than you would. Absolutely. Get a yard. That's get a really yard. Important. The one thing I will say, you got to go up the hill for the more flatter, you know, obviously like yards. If you're down closer to that walkable downtown area. I mean, yes, the kids are going down there. They're hanging out. They're having fun, you know, walking and you know, hanging out with their friends and going to the stores and things like that. But as far as like riding bikes, playing ball, you need to be higher up on the hill where you're getting more land. It's a little bit flatter because your kids can't ride their bikes down in here. It's just not safe. So, but that's what I love. It's very community oriented, you know, some great programs. The schools are doing fantastic. It's growing. You've got some new developments coming in. Um, so yeah, I mean, as a mom, I, I love it. I'm all about community. Like how involved are the families in these schools? And they're very involved. Then that, that's something to point out. Like I always pay attention to that because if you have schools that are struggling, are the parents involved in the school? Usually not. That's how, kind of how I look at schools as a mom. Like how involved are they? And, and Oregon City does have some really great, well, you know, parents. That Victoria. I know, right? Can we get that in the shot? I think I got it. Did you get in the shot? I think I got that one. I mean, yeah. So, Oregon City is a great alternative to the inner city. You're in the suburbs, but you're so close to the inner city, and it has its own little vibe going on where you don't have to go very far for brewskis, wine, yep. live music, food carts. You're close to the river for those walks. And, and I know what we've been talking a lot about, like, restored and old-timey homes, mm -hmm. but there is a ton of new construction out here going on. It's a little further out from downtown, but a lot of new builds. So, you're going to have huge mix opportunity of real estate whether that's 70s 80s late 90s early 2000s and then built in the last couple of years and we were actually just in another neighborhood over in oregon city that we didn't put on this but i sold another home to another couple that was a little older and they had an it's a new construction area all one level homes fantastic and guess what rv parking with no hoa so you know that's my, that's what i want to do my retired life i want a ranch one level but I want a place for my big old fifth wheel so when I'm going around I just want to I just want to travel in my fifth wheel those are fancy those some those fifth wheels sometimes are nicer than the homes I sell have you been in one no yeah they're pretty they're pretty nice they got I did and we did recently have a client that decided that they didn't like one levels which I found to be very odd most people would die for a one level range um, but yeah, it someone didn't want It is fun that. to get into some of these homes with people because that client that didn't like the one level didn't think they were going to like a split level. And I took them into a 70s home and they Boom. loved the split levels. I live in a split level and I love it because it's got space. It's got separation for the teenagers. That's what I'm dealing with at home. They can go downstairs in the bonus room with their friends and hang out. I'm upstairs. But I have space. It's got some character and some charm. Yep. Good bones. Good bones. So you definitely need to reach out to us. Just do our little pitch. Like we love chatting with everyone that's planning to move here, whether it's in a couple months or next year. We want to be your go-to team helping you with the logistics. Now you would ask us four or five years ago before all of us, Jesse Jackson, Listy, myself started the YouTube channel. Would we have thought everyone we were working with would come from YouTube? Oh, no, up. no, but yeah. now it is. This is everybody we help. We are so used to all the questions and that's where we love to get to know you and your family and what your, your goals are, right? Absolutely. Ooh, <laughs> that was close. <laughs> that is actually one of the most narrow bridges I've ever driven on. We just crossed from OC and we had a little, a little tire. My heart just flurried there for a second. We're good though. I didn't want to hit the car's windshield. They're a little mirror. Right I know, the I'm mirrors sorry. get super close. Sometimes you even gotta. Well, and I'm driving the big old truck today and normally I'm in a little car, so. Yeah, we got yeah, his, I have excuses. Listy's husband's I'm a good truck. driver. You're a great driver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't even know the difference. I, I totally knew. I, I mean, does it do something? I knew when I started better? telling that story, I was in the is weeds. Is it the nozzle right that's upgraded no. or is it the hose itself? <laughs> okay. So Everybody needs an upgraded gonna, hose. I'm in need of one. It's impossible to continue this conversation without so many sexual endowments <laughs> because an upgraded hose doesn't kink as easily. <laughs> so you have, you have less kinky 
kinks going on. Where can you... Listy <laughs> obtain an upgraded hose? I'm telling you, the Home Depot or I Lowe's, they sell the these hose? upgraded hose. You've never heard of it, an anti-kink garden hose? We're getting way off subject. Is it one of those um, spongy hoses? <laughs> yes, but they also make kind of like a canvas cover. So instead of it being Is it oil? a raw rubber, you've raw. got... <laughs> you've got... Nobody likes the raw rubber. <laughs> we are so. totally off kilter here. Yeah. My main point is Goodwill would not accept our perfectly unused garden hose. They just didn't so want it. So upgraded hose, they raw rubber, it's not... It's un, it's, doesn't kink it's not raw rubber 